If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, the Fibonacci sequence is defined by F0 equals 0, F1 equals 1, and for n greater than or equal to 2, Fn is equal to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. Find the value of the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of Fn over 10 to the n. Smash that like button and let's get started. So we first want to show that our series converges, and we're going to do this with a comparison test. So the Fibonacci sequence, f0 equals 0, f1 equals 1, and the nth Fibonacci number is equal to the sum of the previous two Fibonacci numbers for n greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so we're going to compare our series, which is the series of the nth Fibonacci over 10 to the n. We're going to compare it to the series of 2 to the n over 10 to the n. So let's show that the nth Fibonacci is less than or equal to 2 to the n for, for all n. Okay, and since Fibonacci's are always greater than or equal to 0, we could use the comparison test to show um, that our series converges. Okay, so we'll let a sub n equal 2 to the n. So it's clear that a0 equals 1 and a1 equals 2. And it's not hard to show that we could write a recursion for this a sequence. a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 times a n minus 2. And if you don't believe this, just plug in 2 to the n minus 1 for a n and 2 to the a, uh, n minus 2 for a 2, and it's very clear. And so we want to show that a n is always greater than or equal to f n. So let's look at the first terms. f 0 is equal to 0, which is less than or equal to 1, which is a 0. And f 1 is equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 2, which is a1. So what we're going to say is, suppose that f sub i, so the ith Fibonacci, is less than or equal to a sub i for i equals 0 up to n minus 1. Okay, so this is like our inductive hypothesis. We want to show that this implies that a n is greater than or equal to f n. So a n, recall, is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 a n minus 2. And since a n minus 2 is positive, this is greater than or equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. And this is greater than or equal to, so by induction, f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2 which is equal to the nth Fibonacci. Okay, so we could use the comparison test to show that our series that we want to investigate uh, converges. So the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the n over 10 to the n, that's a geometric series that converges, and that's greater than or equal to the series we're interested in. And so since the bigger series converges, our series must also converge. And that's, that's using the comparison test. Right, so we conclude that the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of fn over 10 to the n converges. But the question is, what does it converge to? So we can call what it converges to L. So L is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of fn over 10 to the n. So let's break up this sum. Our goal is we're going, to be, we're going to use the Fibonacci recurrence. So let's pull out the first two terms, f0 over 10 to the 0, plus f1 over 10 to the first, plus the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of fn over 10 to the n. So we just pulled out the first two terms. And the reason why we did that is in order to use the Fibonacci recurrence, we need to have n equals 2 or greater. Well, f0 is 0, so we throw that out, and f1 is 1. So we have 1 tenth plus the sum from n equals 2 to infinity. And instead of having fn, let's write it as fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. So we have that, 
all over 10 to the n. So what we could do is break apart that sum into two separate series, and then we could re-index so the subscript of our Fibonacci terms uh, is n. So this is the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of fn over 10 to the n plus 1 plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of fn over 10 to the n plus 2. Now notice those two sums that we just wrote look very similar to the sum that we're interested in. So let's take this first sum and notice it starts at n equals 1. We want it to start at n equals 0. So let's add in the 0 term and then we'll also subtract it off. And we factor it out a 1 tenth. So our denominator would be of the correct um, power. Plus we could factor out a 10 squared in this second sum. And we're left with the exact series we started with. Okay, so that's 1 over 10 squared times the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of fn over 10 to the n. Now, in our middle term, f0 is 0, so we can just throw it out. And so we're, what we're left with is 1 tenth plus 1 tenth of L, right? That's what our series converges to, plus 1 one hundredth of L. And now let's look at what this is all equal to. Well, it's equal to L. So L is 1 tenth plus one-tenth L plus one one-hundredth L. This is a very easy equation to solve. Let's group all the L's together and solve for L. So 89 one-hundredth L is equal to one-tenth and we get L is equal to 10 over 89. So our series, the sum from N equals zero to infinity of the nth Fibonacci over 10 to the n converges to 10 over 89. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.